put on his clothes because I like wearing guys I, I like wearing dead guys clothes because you know it's a turn on for me so anyway I'm gonna give him back my old clothes now he's wearing my clothes which is all sweaty and grimy and shit like that and we're gonna go back another mud crab quickly sneak up on him no he spotted me oh well Kill him just like all the others. He will join his muddy brothers. And I should really be jumping around a lot because that'll increase my acrobatics. Until I can get a mortar and pestle, uh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have worryings about fatigue. Boing boing. I am Rabbit Man. Boing boing. Boing boing. Rabbit man. Boing boing. Boing boing. Boing. Okay. So now, after we discovered that Procius Vitellius was murdered, we have to go back to this guy. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing his name. And bring up the topic of murder of Procius Vitellius. Murdered? What a waste. Proce Procius was a good man. I had been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things happen. Do you happen to find the tax money he collected? I hate to be callous, but I do have a job to do. Well, you know, I did find uh, 200 septums on his body, but no, he didn't have anything. No? It figures, I suppose. Well, thank you for letting me know that it happened. So now... Shouldn't be that you're right, I shouldn't be here. I should be somewhere saving the world. Because I'm good like that. So I'm gonna save because this game is prone to crashing. L Peter. This game is very prone to crashing. And I don't wanna lose all these this excellent progress that I have. Cause it's ran the uh, the containers are random with what I had, so I might have not I might not have gotten all this good armor uh, before uh, next time if I screwed up. So I'm gonna wait until my fatigue is back up. Murder of Procius Vitellius. That fetcher, you're damn right I did him in, and a good thing too. He was skimming a load of money from all us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels, so I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot, with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Sorry, that is no excuse for murder, and your punishment has been decided. You must die now. You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, Orc. I have no problem spilling more of the blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Well, it just happens to be that I have a sword and you have what? What was that? Fists? I'm sorry, that doesn't that doesn't jive with me, buddy. I have a sword and it kills you and it's awesome because, you know, I'm wielding it. So I'm going to take your gold because that's how I roll. And I'm also going to take all your saltress and your book. I know you were reading it, you were right in the middle. Snape kills D Dumbledore, by the way. So, sorry I ruined that for you. And I'm gonna take all of your ingredients because I'm gonna need them later, and you're not. Because you're dead now. I'm listening. Yeah, well, I'm not. So go away, lady. So, we're going back. Boing, boing! We're going back to... I'm not even going to bother. Going back to this guy. The guy with the beard. Beard man. Let's call him Beard man. Beard man. I have news for you. I heard that you had been making... That you've been, that you've been asking around about his murder. I'm glad to see that this matter is brought to its completion. Here's a reward, Frag Penguin. Good to see there are still some citizens who understand their loyalty to the Emperor. 500 gold has been added to your inventory. On top of that 200... On top of the 200 that I had found on Procius Vitellius. 
So that makes a grand total of 700 gold. Hells yes. Let's go splurge. Splurging time! Splurge. Let's go splurge. My, you're a tall one. Let's barter. Okay, what have I got to sell you? I've got Prusius Vitalius's ring. I can sell you that. I can sell you some flynn. I can sell you some common shoes. I can sell you this book, The Firmament. I can sell you this. I can sell you that. And that. And we're almost at his maximum gold, so I'm just gonna offer that right now. And I'm gonna wait 24 hours for his gold to restock. Unlike in Oblivion, where they have a set amount of gold that you can sell, you set amount that you can sell, uh, you have to, they're, these guys, the, these guys go, this guy's, that screw it. His gold runs out. There, I said it. Alright then, so, what do we got here, what do we got, what do we got? I need a... I'll take that helmet. What else have I... What else am I in dire need of? Let's see, I've got a right gauntlet, so I'll take the left gauntlet, if you don't mind. And I've already got some greaves. Uh, I need a pauld pauldron. pauldron. Unfortunately, he is without one. So I will take this... No, I won't. I will buy some of these. And uh, 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 I will buy some journeyman armors, hammers. Because I won't be doing some alchemizing until a little bit later. So I'm just taking you through the main quests of Satanine right now. So, you look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. Let's be friends! I'd like you to help me recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Naturally, I'd be fine, but we can keep... We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a chance I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Sure, I'll do it. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. What will give you a nice view that will give you a nice view of all Satanine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to find out where he's hiding that gold. Okay, and now's an excellent time to save. Now we play the waiting game. The whole thing with this is spycraft. Spycraft. So we gotta go over here. Oh wait, hang on a sec. I haven't equipped my uh, awesome armor yet. Okay, that done. Uh, there's a little secret here, a little stash of 25 gold and a silver goblet right here. Right here. Right here. I'll be taking that, and I can't get back up, and I might be stuck, but I'm not stuck, so there you go, ha ha. Boing, boing, boing. And there's someone in here that we can murder face quite easily, which I shall do.
But first of all, I'm going to start uh, training up my speech craft because uh, I can. Okay, and I blew it. All right, time to die, lady. I like those earrings. She's the only one that seems to have a special healing ability. Okay, and I'll be taking your gold because I'm like that. I'll be taking your saltress and your scuttles. Hide your wife, hide your husband, and hide your kids because they're raping everybody up in here. Hide your ingredients. Hide your everything. Hoo-hoo! I locked out. This is a magic item, of course. It's a magic item. It's a long blade, steel longsword. Locked out. That was a lucky thing. Whee! It's not always there. No siree. Okay, take that. Take your book. 